of the guys having me here and I'm back for another video today. And today is a dinosaur drawing after a really long time. Well, this is going to be a baby T-Rex. This is the reference image. It's going to be really detailed. And it's going to be quite easy. If you try. So first of all, what I'm going to be doing is making a huge circle like this. Wait, let me like that. Then that you make a line going straight through the middle, going this way. And then after that, you just wait. My pencil that ran out. That's sad. I'll have to use the normal. So well now, eye cavity. Just draw this circle. Doesn't really matter if you know what's a cavity or not. It's just that. I'm just gonna be drawing him. Then you make this loop over his eye cavity. Then now you make this bump. A bump like that. And well, now this is the top jaw, right? The bottom jaw I'll do later. Now I'm really mainly focusing on the uh, top jaw. And then there's this line for the nose cavity. Like this. You just make an eye. One moment. I'll be back with them back with my eraser. And now what I'm going to be doing is erasing a bit of the top because uh, we need to do that later. And sharpen your pencil because we're gonna be going in big detail. Mine is super super sharp now. And let's just go into more detail. So for the eye, you're just going to make this huge eyelid. Maybe T-Rex eyeballs are really huge. Just going to make it go big like that. And there's a small pupil like this. Then another small circle like this. Just shade it in. Not too dark, but just shade it in like that. And now you just see this part a bit right, like lines around the eye, just like a human's eyeball, seriously. And make the eyelid, then the bottom lid, and now I'm going to be doing the wrinkles. I know even baby dinosaurs have wrinkles, I think all of them have. I seriously don't know why, but they do. You can slow this down if I'm going too fast. Or you can just pause it if it, I'm really being fast. So that's the eye. I know it looks gigantic, but that's literally how big the eyeballs are. And now, just make like a ridge. Like this. Like this. Just make a line like that. Then you make the nose cavity. Okay, so now what I want you guys to do is here is the nose, the front of the face, and then make a back. Like that, that's your basic shape. And now what I'm going to be doing making this like this change it up a bit and then now the back here there's an earpiece but well we're leaving that for now now doing a bit of the lower jaw just like that and then now i'm gonna be doing the way the t-rex mouths look like just 
just like that. I know it may not look that good now, but well, we're still doing a bit of the. We're still not done. Now wrinkles on top of the eye. Looks like eyelashes. I know that. And then now you just make a bit of a scales. If you don't know how to draw scales, it's pretty much like this. So that's pretty much how it is. Actually, guys, I know this is how it's supposed to be. Making the dinosaur's eye huge. But, well, I think it's a bit too huge. So I'm going to be shrinking it up a bit. Even though it is really how the dinosaur is, it looks too huge, honestly. So like this. That's your wrinkles. And then now, just got to zoom out a bit. And then now. All right, doesn't look that bad. Now you're just going to start off with the neck. This is like, we're still not done, so don't think this is ugly yet. But we're still doing the proportions and everything. Make the net go a bit downwards. Like that. And now, we just make this line a bit darker. Then now we make this nostril, which is like a teardrop, but a bit sharp. Just like that. Darken it a bit more until it looks blackish. And now this goes like that. Just to make it more realistic. Mm -hmm. And now some add on some bumps. This on the thing on the top of his nose. And these are pretty much like gigantic scales. And then now I'm going to go up like an eye ridge and come down and now off to this side and then um now what i'm going to be doing is the ear and here is the ear it's the back of the head you just make this like line that's actually the ear and then an almond shape on the top i don't know if this is an almond but it kind of looks like an almond darken that all out a bit and now you cross hatch this part. Cross hatching is pretty much drawing straight lines going through this thing. And then another side. So it's like a cross. Like hashtags. I don't know if it is like that, but well, it's like that. And now, I want you guys to do is pretty much get with a super, get ready with a super thin pencil in a minute because we are going to be starting to do the scales just let me darken this part where the mouth goes down and up and down notice my dinosaur videos get a lot of views so i think i should be continuing now for the neck you just make this a line like this because it has some wings You just make some other wrinkles. Later we'll go to the neck because neck is really plain. Now what I want you guys to do is make a bit of teeth. Now it's fully closed but you can still see some teeth. that no doesn't look perfect but then right here it ends okay and now get ready with your super thin um what do i call it pencil because now we're gonna go into full detail maximum detail so well now i'm gonna stop a mine a bit more because i my mechanical pencil does not have lead well, it would be better to use a mechanical pencil. 
But if you don't have, you can use like me. Make a huge like scale at the top here. And another huge scale at here. And then you just continue these big scales on this line. This. Like that. And you just shade it a bit. Once you add the scales, it'll really look beautiful. Because it'll look realistic. And actually, if you put your hand on it, you'll feel, because you drew over it, so you'll feel a bit of, like, it's a bit rough. Then now, around the nose, you just make these little... Like, scales around it. Then now I'm gonna be going into straight detail in time lapse. You can just see what I do and then just copy it. So, see you after my time lapse video. show you what to do about the upper jaw i mean lower jaw because i did the time lapse of the upper jaw which you should have seen and now for here you're pretty much going to be shading it upwards like this just like that and the photo is a bit dark at the bottom then you shade it upwards. Change the direction. I know this video may take a lot of time, but it'll really turn out good. You'll probably like it. This and then use and then in a minute we'll just go back to the go back to putting the scales and I'm done shading but you just need to darken it up a bit because I'm going to be putting a bit scale a bit of scales here bottom jaw and it'll be quite simple so get ready done with the scales and that's it for your head you still have the neck i don't know how long this video will probably be but i speed up some of the parts so it's probably be um i don't know for now you make some wrinkles going up and down i don't know this dinosaur has a lot of wrinkles even though it's a baby and then at the bottom wait a minute here at the neck you just shade it so dark just do that because this part is really unnecessary anyway in the photo there's not much detail just pink so i can't shade pink so i have to just do it like this and that's like the bottom neck top you need a bit more detail shade it up a bit top from the top of the head and then Coming down, actually make these lines. Just follow what I do. I, I'm bad at just talking about it. So you just do like this. You shade it down, up and down. You'll get a cool look. Just 
just shade it like this and you have a cool look but just because this thing is a bit darker than the i'm just gonna be darkening the lines a bit more like that oh my god this is actually brilliant it's my first like it's really detailed oh so now it's time to sign your drawing where do i sign it here i'm signing And then the date today is, what is the date? Um, 24th, October, 2020. Hope you guys like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.